Um, uh, he's destroyed by his effects on others, the terror of the family. And rather sadly, here's the comment that when I showed him a mischievous maniac who was strictly confined, then he said, this would be the right place for me. Uh, and I think with modern eyes reading it, this is, a, you know, this, this is a painful remark. And like many people who are very uncontrolled and feel that, uh, he was asking for control. He was asking to be, uh, uh, to be um, uh, restrained and uh, uh, prevented from himself. Uh, the, uh, John Hashem is rather taking this as just confirming the notion that a childhood disorder can be an insanity and that it's essentially incurable. That it's the... Uh, the uh, so, painful to read, but also giving the idea which keeps recurring nowadays about the, uh, the distress and the torment and the confusion uh, that afflicts the families um, of children uh, with severe disorder. This is Benjamin Rush, who was a great American physician, an excellent observer, describing a girl whose wickedness had no intervals while awake. Uh, uh, and I'm quoting this because he was saying that there's probably an original defective organisation in those parts of the body which are occupied by the moral faculties of the mind. So he is moving away from a purely moral kind of explanation into something that is more internal to the child. And economics uh, followed this as well, because in 1800, most children in this country uh, were workers, were labourers, after the age of about seven. As in many countries of the world, that's still the case. And by 1900, most children were students and at school and learning. So a huge change in the role uh, of children. Um, and of Virgil, developing in this century from irrational into people who possess rights. The um, often contradictory views, um, idealised, this is um, Bubbles, famous picture by Millet, 